Hi, welcome back to Cold Stream Rod Shop. I'm Derek Fraser. This is the first episode of us building the 32 Ford Roadster body. We've done it for ourselves, um, but never did it on video. So that's ours over there. And then behind the camera lady here are all of the pieces that would make up the 32 Ford Roadster. So in the first episode here, I'm gonna go through building the sub rails. Um, for those of you guys who watch Iron Trap Garage, he just did the same thing. He went out, he bought the Brookville Roadster um, sub rail pieces, put it together, and he put it underneath an existing 32 Ford Roadster. We're going to be taking it a step back further. Um, so some of the pieces that he bought welded or put together, I'm going to put together. So right now, what I have here is I've got the... The bottom section of the sub rail, I just attached it to the frame here with some clamps and then I'm going to work my way through and, and weld it all together. This is the top section that's going to go on that. So I'm going to do both of these on both sides and then work my way through doing it. So that's the introduction and uh, just follow along. So here's the next step. Um, we last left off, I had the um, inner sub rail. I was welding it. So I did that side and I did this side. So this side now, uh, it's completely welded and I dressed it. You can see on the inside where they've got wood, good weld penetration all along. So that's the lower subframe right there. It's going to go on it. The piece between the camera lady's legs here is the upper sub rail that actually is going to go on here. Um, on the driver's side, I've actually put them together. So I've got the inner and the outer sub rail put together here and tacked in place. So that's it there. I'm going to carry on and uh, I'll just dress these welds up just a little bit. but. Um, in the factory, what they would have done is they would have spot welded here and here and there. And that's what they do at Brookville as well. They basically take a spot welder and they weld the two of them together. There is a little bit of dolly work that you have to do because when you fit the inner sub rail into the outer sub rail, you've got to basically open this up so that they fit together and then dolly them together and make a nice smooth surface here. So again, I'm just going to carry on with this. I'm going to dress those welds up a bit, put that on the frame, switch over here and do this one, and then I'm going to drill the holes into it. So here we are now. The passenger side sub rail is all put together and welded. I've drilled all the holes. Um, as I described before, this all these parts we got from uh, Brookville uh, were seconds, and the holes were seconds. Um, they typically are laser drilled pinholes where the holes are matched, so I actually had to move a couple of the holes to suit the holes in the, the frame. So sub rail's done, both sides are bolted down. What I got to do now, these two cross pieces, I've got to... Um, weld them in place. So there's two pieces, uh, I don't know if you want to call them dowels or whatever, but they come in under the bolts here um, and then these pieces get welded on top. So I'll, I'll clamp those down and weld them. Uh, then I'll put the, uh, the floor in, weld the floor in, and then I'm probably going to finish off this video uh, by doing the firewall as well. Um, so just keep watching along uh, as we go and put the complete sub rails together for the 32 Ford Roadster. So I carried on with the rest of the subframe. Um, I have the two cross pieces welded in here. I actually took the whole subframe back off, flipped it upside down, and I welded those dowels like I showed you a couple seconds a minutes ago um, underneath. So they're, the dowels are welded to the cross pieces. The cross pieces are welded to the subframe and then I uh, spot welded or, or made it look like I spot welded the uh, floor pan underneath the seat and the floor pan to the, the, the back of the, uh, the body. There are two pieces that will weld underneath the, uh, the floor pans here. 
I don't put them in right now. They go in when I put the back half of the car in. So this is kind of sitting up here right now, but that's, that's fine. Um, essentially all I did, I drilled some 3 16 holes here. Um, about, I think they were about four or five inches apart. Um, just welded them to the subframe. Um, so the subframe's in, the floor pans are in. And then next up, like I said, I put the, uh, the firewall together. So when you get these firewalls from Brookville, you can order them completely put together. But the way we ordered them, we, or we got them with this, all these parts, um, the feet were seconds, everything was seconds. So the feet had to be trimmed across the bottom here um, on both sides and even the sub rails had to be trimmed back on the end here as well so it would go on. And then what I did is I took the orig an original firewall over here, measured the overall height so that I could get this firewall at the same height. And if you come around front here, there was uh, some holes here on the uh, firewall feet. I just opened them up a little bit. Um, I clamped everything in place, made, everything, made sure everything was square, everything was the right height. And then uh, I like to have my feet splayed out to the sides uh, like the originals are. Uh, Brookville, I think when you buy them, they have the feet going basically straight up and down. But if you go look on an original firewall, these feet are actually splayed out um, on an angle like they are right here. So that's the firewall. The floor pan and the sub rail is done. Uh, that's the end of this episode. Um, the next episode, well, the next episode we're going to do is put together a string of videos of building the cowl sides and the cowl top. Um, and that'll be the next step on building the 32 Roadster. That's it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, any questions, shoot me a message, shoot me an email. If you want to see a picture of something, I can message it to you. Uh, just let me know. Try and help out, okay? Everybody take care. Talk to you soon.